Just put your hand Oh my god, why do you have it like that? <laughs> it's because I'm trying to hide no, 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 no. Day 16, I'm still in Bangkok, I'm in Thailand. I'm supposed to be in Vietnam today because I was supposed to fly there yesterday, but I missed the flight. So, what am I doing today? That's the question because obviously all my plans have just fallen out of the window. <laughs> I am going to book another flight. So here's my plan. I've booked another night hotel here because I didn't want to wake up too early today and I've been editing and stuff. It's currently 3 p.m. So it is a bit of a late start. We're gonna have a look where we can fly to. I'm not definitely gonna go to Vietnam now. I might just fly to the southern of Thailand and do Thailand and then, I don't know, I don't know. I'm figuring it out as we as we speak. <laughs> I'm gonna have a look on Skyscanner, see where it's cheap to fly. And then today we're gonna go out and just get up with some mischief. So all I can say is let's get straight into this bitch. I'm gonna plug you as well. A lot of people always ask, oh, how do you get cheap flights? How do you get cheap flights? This is how I find my cheap flights personally, right? So I just put in Bangkok, look, cause I'm going from Bangkok. And instead of Chiang Mai, you can put anywhere from, when am I going? Tomorrow, I wanna go tomorrow. One flight, one adult, bang. And it'll bring a list up, look, of all the different countries you can go to. And then you click on that country and it'll tell you where in the country you can go to. £31, £22, £22. Look at that. Absolute bargains, Dan. So, the options we've got. Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, Malaysia, Vietnam, Singapore, Indonesia. Oh, nip over to Bali. F*** that. India, 85 quid. I might just do India. Shall I do India? No, because I'm not. I just want to go to the beach. No, I'm going to a beach. I'm going to a flipping beach. I'm telling you now, I'm sick of being in a city. The Maldives is 130. Holy shit. Because obviously I feel like, oh, I'm in, I'm in Southeast Asia. I've come to Southeast Asia to do Southeast Asia, but there's nothing to tell me I can't just go to the Maldives. There's no one in charge of me. I'm an adult. <laughs> no, I don't think the Maldives is the one. It's too expensive, bro. I legitimately cannot decide. I've just stared at the page for about 20 minutes. So I'm just going to go out and inspire today. Maybe speak to some people and see if anybody's got any suggestions. I might put it on my Instagram post as well. So make sure you go follow the Instagram hashtag Brady. But for now, let's go out. Don't know what I'm going to do. I might go meet Nick again and Nick and Ed, to be fair. I think they're cutting about on some scooters right now. I'm going to press upload on my video and we're going out. Back on the street, just a quick update. Last night, <laughs> I lost my flipping room key, bro. And my hat. I don't know where I put my hat. There is an unlimited chocolate buffet with a secret entrance that I want to try and find today. Not find, <laughs> it's not hidden, I can Google it. Um, I'm thinking of going there today. Apparently it's like a rooftop hot chocolate bar. Sounds awesome. Um, but first things first, we need to go rent a whiz app because I'm not doing any more of this bloody walking malarkey. Oh, we need to do a temperature check. Hey Siri, what is the temperature? It's about 32 degrees outside. 32, it's a bit cooler today, it's not too bad. Right, let's crack on Daniel's son. Hey, hey. Taxi Uber has been booked to get me to the motorbike rental place. I'm gonna get the bike and then I'm gonna link the boys. Hello, copper, Saudi club. Uh, just a... me. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. What are you saying? I oh, appreciate it, man. Yeah, what are you saying? Where are you going? Today, cool. Oh, you just got it now. Yeah, yeah. You're bougie out here, Dan. <laughs> All right, take it easy, yeah. That was weird. <laughs> uh, can I have one Coca-Cola? Yes, gracias. Yes, I mean, thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's warm, mate. I would have paid 100 if it was cold. I'm only just processing that. That guy pulling up, that was weird. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be Mr. Worldwide, baby. <laughs> Try to grab. Yeah, you know where you're going, yeah? Oh, you... oh sorry. Shit. <laughs> you see, man? Uh, yeah, match tag. Yeah, man. There we go. You a good driver? Good driver, yeah? You a good driver? Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're okay. <laughs> I'm hoping some more of a yes, but we'll, that'll do. Sorry, I'll give you extra, I'll give you a tip, I'll give you a tip, sorry. Oh shit. Just, yeah, just pull over here one second, sorry. Let me put everything in my bag, put this, put this coke off. Get rid of that. Sorry, brother. Wipe right, this up. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's nice to be back in the chaos of Bangkok. This is the beauty of Bangkok, right? You've got people driving in the back of pickup trucks. You've got all these amazing massive buildings. And then you've got all these beautiful temples just like this. It's the perfect mix of like rich and poor, 
and just culture all together in one little boiling pot. I absolutely love this city. Look, you've just got little kids asleep, people selling food on the street. And then you could go over there and probably spend a thousand pounds on a meal in a Michelin star restaurant. It's absolutely nuts, bro. There you go, brother. Sorry, that's okay. Sorry about the, the mess. That's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Can't get hold of Nick. So I'm just going to get the moped now. I'm going to go to this chocolate bar. Although I've not even eaten, bro. I had a Mackey's earlier that I got dropped off to the hotel and it was atrocious. So I can't just go straight to a chocolate bar. I need to get some actual sustenance in me first. Maybe a couple of pints of Guinness. <laughs> no, no, not after last night's antics, mate. Listen, look at this. I found this in my bag. And you know where that's been, don't you? <laughs> Disgusting. Hello, boss man. Hello. Sadi Krab. Yeah, just come to rent a motorbike for one day. Here he is, boss man's back. Hello again. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe this one, I had this one last time. This one's good, I like this bike. Okay, let's do the paperwork, brother. Do you need to see a picture of my passport? Yeah. No? Oh yeah. There you go, guys, you don't even actually need your passport or a license to rent a bike. You just need a picture of your passport and then you can leave money as a deposit. Trusty whiz up acquired, I've got a new problem, okay? I booked a hotel for the full moon party next month, right? So I know that I'm definitely gonna be down at Koh Samui in the 23rd of April, but I booked between the 22nd and the 25th, okay? And I didn't book that because I'm so stupid. I booked the 22nd to the 25th of March, which is tomorrow. Right? And I've been messaging them for the last two days saying, please, can you just change it? Um, do you know what I mean? I, I booked it for the wrong dates, okay? Can you just change it to the same dates but in April? And what they've said is, yes, we can change it, sir but you will have to pay the full amount again. Are you actually okay in the head? So you're not, you can't change it. What you're saying is I can just buy it again and they won't change it. They won't change it and they won't give me a refund and it was over 10,000 baht. Jesus, Urgh. So, um, I don't know what to do. I think the only solution that I can think, the only logical solution is I fly to Koh Samui tomorrow and I go and stay in the hotel. <laughs> I mean, I was looking for somewhere to go and I was waiting for the universe to show me, so, I think that is the only feasible option. So we're gonna go to the, we're gonna go get some food because I'm starving, I'm in a right bad mood now. We're gonna go get some food and I'm gonna book and we're gonna go to Koh Samui and I'm gonna use this bloody hotel that they won't let me refund. <laughs> Wheelie test. What the fuck? No, oh, this is dead. The back brake barely worked. Look at that, I don't know if you can see it. All that's just clay. Anyway, let's get into this. And we've made it, have a look at that. What a mad building, looks like little jigsaw pieces have been taken out of it and stuff. Not quite sure how it works or what you do, but I'm just gonna go in and get in a lift and hopefully we can get some drink and scrand because I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I feel like I'm running on the fumes of the alcohol that was in my body from last night. So I'll take this stupid chest strap off so I look like I'm gonna cause some terror and then uh, <laughs> we'll get straight into this bitch. Hello, cop and crab. Check my bag, yeah, sure, bro. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to buy a ticket. I'm not sure what I was expecting. I, was, I know what I was expecting to walk up and it just be a random building and I'd be the only person there. I don't know why I thought that, but that's what I thought was going on. <laughs> Bloody hell, it's like being in uh, Alton Towers. <laughs> okay, wait, it's not just the tallest building. There's also like a glass walkway where you can see down, and then there's also like a VR bit where you can fly through Bangkok, I believe. So basically, it's a machine like this, though. I don't know if you can see it very well. And like, you go in it and, it, and you control it and you just fly around Bangkok like a uh, Superman. So we're definitely gonna do that. There seems to be some weird rule about bags. Because he's been told his bag's too big, I think. But my bag seems to be hard, so. Oh, there you go. It fits in that little box, like Ryanair. Why does that matter? Maybe it's to stop you throwing stuff off the top. I don't know, we'll find out. Oh shit, I don't have a, I don't have a ticket. So you can just ticket at the here? Oh. That's Thank you. I don't know, again, I just thought I was just gonna go to some stairs and walk home. <laughs> I just didn't think about the fact that you might have to pay and there's other people around. Selfish, really. 
Hello, uh, one ticket please. Okay, so it's 1,100, which is about 25 quid. 90. Oh, and 90. Yeah. Bloody hell. Take it all off me. <laughs> yeah, it's 1,190. Which is about 27 quid. Which, to be fair, for the VR thing and to go up, I don't think that's bad. How long do you get on the machine? The machine, do you Yeah. Two, two minutes. Two minutes? Yeah, two minutes. Bloody hell. It's not very long, is it? Also, look at this. It says no parachutes. You're not allowed to take a parachute upside. Imagine you've got a parachute on your back and they're like, what's that for? And you're still going up to the roof. No reason. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted to do that base jumping, bro. That shit will be absolutely off. Oh, what's going on here, man? There we go. Cheers, brother. Yeah, that shit would be awesome, bro. Okay, now we're in the lift, right? I'm a bit concerned because obviously I had a dream last night that we got stuck in a lift. You won't look in yet. Look at this, Daniel son. Wow. Oh my god. This might be the highest building I've ever been in in my life, to be honest. And we can still get to the top. It's still one more floor, but. Let me just take this in for a second. Holy shit. Hopefully you guys can see that well, but wow. Mate, this is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, look at the pollution. All of that is just pollution, bro. That's a bit peak, actually, that is. You're ruining the planet. Right, this is this is awesome. I definitely recommend this. I'm not even going to the top yet. Also, just got this uh, ice hot chocolate. Mmm. Don't like it, not for me. We've made it to the top, baby. Oh, it's like water spraying in your face, it's so pank. <laughs> now, there's two things I hate about traveling, right? And it's tourists, and big crowds of tourists, and usually family-friendly tourists. Look. Oh, we've got such an amazing thing I can do, and it's just hell on earth, mate. I just don't enjoy being around all these people, because they're all idiots. We're gonna try and get on. You need the socks to get on. No phone, no camera. No phone, no camera. Okay. No phone, no camera. Yeah, right. That's it. I've had enough anyway. It's all doing me. I didn't. It's good fun to be fair. I wanted to do a roly poly, but I don't think I'm gonna do it. Oh, sorry, brother. Sorry, you caught me. Listen, I don't care. Social anxiety at all. Clearly, you can see me walking around with this camera talking to myself, looking like a bloody idiot. But I just hate being around lots of people like this. Like if I'm in a rave, yeah, and it's all like minded people, cool. But when you're here and it's all people from all different life for walk, walks of life, they just don't seem to work together and everyone just bumping into each other. Everyone can't seem to do, understand social construct. Normality just goes out of the window and everyone just annoys the shit out of me, let's be honest. Do I know you from TikTok? Do I know you? I know you from Grindr. Oh, no Grindr. Good night, guys. Yeah, man. How you doing, all right? Nice to meet you, bro. Where are you from? Germany. Oh, Germany, yeah? Oh, Mr. Worldwide. We've come down now and we're only on level 74. I think the top was like 78. Oh, this is a bit better. Way less people, still got the views. You don't have that bloody stupid music going on, Dan. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I mean, I'm assuming for you on the camera, it doesn't even look that good. <laughs> I don't know, we need to get some food. That's number one priority for me, Dan, so come on down. This is the VR stuff, look. Oh, you're not gonna bloody see it now. So basically, you sit in a chair, you sit in the chair and then the chair like flies around, I don't know, and you've obviously got the headset on so it feels like you're flying and you've got the VR, I don't know, you all know how VR works. <laughs> what you do is you control yourself with this, I'm not quite sure how it's going to work. So, so what, I can do the moon or the mat, uh, no, we'll do Bangkok. What, what do you mean hard? Why would it be hard? Oh, hard, yeah, fast, fast, fast. Okay, awesome, let's get into this. <laughs> right, 
bro, I'm sweating, mate. I feel sick. I feel sick. I feel dizzy, emotion sickness. Oh my God. Oh, I feel sick. That was absolutely mental. <laughs> I can't explain how good that was. Oh, oh my God. Honestly, I, like, it, it, I, <laughs> I'm absolutely dumbfounded. I'm lost for words. That was amazing. But yeah, I feel sick. I feel sick. That was bizarre. I can't explain it. <laughs> I definitely recommend it. If you're in Bangkok, mate, maybe skip out the skywalk. I mean, it's worth going up there, to be fair. It's definitely worth going up. I definitely recommend it. Yeah, sick. We're back at the fancy hotel. There's a bloody Porsche over there. You don't see many of them. And I saw that Lamborghini earlier. Anyway, we're back at the fancy hotel. What I'm doing is I'm booking my ticket and I'm going to Koh Samui tomorrow in the morning. Well, not in the morning, 1 p.m. And because like I say, I've already booked this, I've already got the hotel paid for, so I'd be stupid to not go. The flight is gonna be 108 pounds though, which is not something I wanted to spend. But in for a penny, in for 108 pounds, I suppose. <laughs> and just like that, I'm all booked up. 108 pound lighter. <coughs> But it means I'm planned set for the next three days, do you know what I mean? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go Koh Banyang. I'm pretty sure the full moon party is on. So I'm gonna go there, full moon party, a few days chilling. Then I can do Koh Samui. Maybe even there's another island, Koh, Koh Pat, I don't know. I don't know. All the names sound too similar for me. But yes, yeah, so we're gonna be island hopping for the next week or so. And then I might fly to Vietnam. I don't know. Oh, I'm f***ed, mate. What happened? All them shots last night f me up, mate. Yeah. Cause you weren't drinking them, so I was drinking them. I must have done about 10. No. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Are you drinking tonight? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, I got a present for you. Thank Close you your eyes. Romance, Close yeah. your eyes. Put your hand out. Like, Close your eyes. Put your hand it's out. It's a put fucking it. scorpion. It's put your hand out. Put your hand out. Put your hand out. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Fuck, dude. Just put your hand out. Is it alive? It's alive. It's alive. It's not alive. It's not alive. It's not alive. Say dead ass. Dead ass. Dead ass. Mom's laugh. Just put your hand out. Dog, I'm a bitch. I'm not even drunk. Come, stop being a bitch. Just put your hand out. It's not even mad. Just put your hand out. Just put your hand out. Oh my god, why do you have it like that? <laughs> it's because I'm trying to hold it. No, 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 so you don't want it then? <laughs> back at the trusty wizard, we've got Nick with us. He forgot the keys to his moped, so he's going to jump on the back of me. <laughs> so this is going to be loads of fun. Oh my God. You're shaking it, you're shaking it. Ah. <laughs> yeah, f*** it, go on. <laughs> there you go. You get pulled over, you're paying the ticket now. <laughs> All right. Hold on. You're not gonna take me there, you won't put me there. Wimmer is gonna hit the fucking this guy can't drive! <laughs> oh my oh. god! <laughs> Yo, you're actually so shit driving. <laughs> I finally found someone that's worse at driving than me. <laughs> How far are we? Six minutes away. Six <laughs> minutes? I've been driving for 30 minutes. No, you keep going the wrong way. Pull over, let me charge. Pull over. Pull over here. I'm not joking, this is the most elusive place ever. We just drove another mile and now we're still two miles away. So we just got off the bike and we're just gonna walk. Are you hungry? And we're gonna eat chocolate. We're gonna eat our bowl weight in chocolate. Although some of this does look, oh mate, I'm so hungry. Uh, what's in the samosa? Chicken potato. Chicken and potato, one please. Do you want a samosa? I'm okay. Just one please. One, one samosa, yes. Shumai? Yeah. Well, can I get one, two shumai as well? You want to make that? Oh, no, just that, yeah, just that, that's okay. I don't even like shumai. It's just for all my scouses out there, mate. I know that the scouses love uh, a shumai. Well, also, seven in the morning right now. Also, I asked I for, I asked for one, one samosa, and she's getting me five. So let's see how much that costs. <laughs> 200, okay. 
What's the sauce? Sorry, what's this? Sweet sauce. Okay, thank you. Okay, we've got chicken and potatoes, samosas. I thought samosa was an Indian thing, but as far as I'm aware, we're not actually that far from India. Alright, we're gonna watch. Bro, how's it? That's so good. Really? Yeah. Bro, you're sweating a storm. I know, I'm fing hot. <laughs> I'm sweating, bro. Oh no, grey t shirt. Worst idea ever. <laughs> but you need to try one, man. Okay, we'll try the sweet sauce. Out of 10. So good, that's like 8 1. That's so good. And eight, it's one not too crazy. spicy as well, it's nice. Really? Like it. Okay, after legitimately, what, 45, 50 minutes since we set off from one mile away, I believe we're in the, in the right thing. To be fair, I did get told it was like a secret entrance to get in, but they made it sound like, you know when you go to that like, washing machine club in uh, Manchester where you, you have to like, open a washing machine and you can get in? Somebody made it sound like that, like you have to climb in a bin. But it's not a bin, it's, you have to find it. It's a mystery. I'm not sure if it's actually even going to be here. You are? I know, yeah, yeah, it's literally an Easter egg of a, sh of a bar. So, bro, are you good, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, man. Ready for some invention? Invention? Adventure? Yeah, we're trying to find the cocoa bar. The what? Cocoa. Cocoa? Cocoa, yeah. What the hell is that? <laughs> Don't say that. It's on the roof, I think. I have no idea. 23. You have no idea. Hey, uh, maybe it's on the... Yeah, it's in the hotel, yeah. Yeah. Maybe okay. you need, yeah, go to 23 and then, yeah, just ask them. Maybe okay. It's a rooftop. All right, have a great one. Thank you, brother. You too. Who's there? It's literally right there. Level 57. We need level 57. What the f***? How many levels are we I don't know. We're on level 23. <laughs> Wait, we're going down. We're going all the way down to ground. What are we doing? Bro, this is the hardest bar to get into. I can't imagine we're gonna walk in, there's not gonna be a single person in there. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna do the renegade. <laughs> Don't ever do that. <laughs> oh. Okay, there's more elevators. This is insane. Why would anybody come here? Surely it's not down that dark alleyway. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to do. I don't know how we get up there. <laughs> right, let me figure this out and I'll bring you back. <laughs> okay, I think we've found an elevator. Oh. oh, that was lucky it stopped, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, we're here. We've got buttons. Cocoa, <laughs> we've made it. Come on in, brother. Floor 55. Imagine they say you can't come in in shirt, shorts and crocs, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, I'm breaking. Uh, Howdy, crap. Would you like to have dinner or have drinks with the bar, We have come for some chocolate. Chocolate? Yes. You said Perfect. Please ask sir, one more, uh, two more for up from here. Just walk up by the staircase. Thank you. Oh, wow. Have a look at this. This oh, is amazing, Dad. Right, we're still not there. There's still another set of stairs to conquer. Excuse me, thank you. Oh my God. This place is fancy, mate. It said online that it was only 600 bar. Oh my God, look. Man, I paid that stupid money to go up that bloody building earlier and I didn't even need to. Okay, I found the bar upstairs and it's just a bar. And I'm like, oh God, and I've walked all the way around it and there's no chocolate. <laughs> so I've gone to the woman and said, is there a chocolate buffet? And she's opened the door and then there's a secret door down. So there is a chocolate buffet, but they're all playing bloody copyright music up there. So I can't show you. And so again, I'll do a video, but there'll be no sound. Let me just grab Nick and I'll take you. I'll take us all there. Come on, dad. So here she is. She takes you round the back of the bar and then there's like a little secret door. So it takes you into the door. And then what she's going to ask is, she's going to ask it if you want. Look at it, it's like a little dungeon, mate. A little Willy Wonka's dungeon. Perfect mix between Willy Wonka and Harry Potter. <laughs> Look at them, they're like proper hand-painted chocolates. Look, so here she's going to ask me if I want a la carte, which means you buy per chocolate, or if you want uh, all you can eat. So it's usually about 50 bar per chocolate, or all you can eat is 650 bar. So if you can eat more than 12 chocolates, 
You're banging it, bro. And I'm telling you now, I ate about 40. <laughs> if you check my Instagram story, there's a video of me being sick because <laughs> I ate so many. So you come up here, and this is like the little chocolate factory. Look, there's little Willy Wonka there, little sweet, innocent Thai lady chocolatier. And she's making them. Look, she's hand painted all of these little chocolates. There was a million different flavors. I tried to eat as many as I could. The reason I couldn't record, they were playing copyrighted music in there, so I know this is annoying, I'm sorry. There's a white chocolate mountain, water, not mountain, waterfall. Everything in here was handmade, and if it was in the UK, in a packet, it would be three pound per chocolate. Easy, bro. And I paid 12 quid for Unlimited. And like I said, I must have had about 30 chocolates easily, bro. Easily. It was so good, and it was so nice, and it was all like super high quality cocoa as well. Look at the detail that she's putting into it, man. I did ask her which was her favourites and which were the best sellers, but there's all these like slabs and you just break a bit off the slab. They do give you a glove because obviously you're not supposed to be touching everything. And then there's even an ice cream machine, which you can see I've already indulged in. And then if you see my face in a minute, I'm a right mess. But yeah, there's like everything. And then when you leave, you get to fill that plate up. So you have to eat everything in the room. <laughs> and then you get to fill the plate up when you leave. And I'm not into smoking cigars, so I got myself a chocolate one. And just like that, we're going to end the vlog there. Big up to Nick. Yo. There you go, you've learned big up now as well. Big up. <laughs> Absolute legend. Next time I'm in LA, well, next time. When I'm in LA, I'll come and hit you up. <laughs> All right, this guy's hero there's his tag make sure you go fucking follow him on everything shout out your mom shout out your dad come along tomorrow for the next adventure make sure you hit subscribe and like safe <laughs>